Tim Tom Carter loose. I get that all the time. I personally don't collect anything, uh, but as long as they don't take them out of the box, because I always get a little concerned when they take them out of the box. Look. It's so sad. It's so sad. I personally prefer loose just because they were played with. Box art of the Transformers, amazing. One of the best box arts you'll ever find. I love seeing that, because that, again, takes me back to the toy stores. Again, it takes me back to seeing it for the first time and going, wow. Can I open it? No, it's what a... Just let me open it. That's my pet. You both busted the corner now. You might as well. You, you already did that. Now it's got to open. <laughs> You're going to see I'm coming to your house next time, and I'm opening up your crap. The more wear a toy has, the more character it has. It shows that more love that you gave that toy. I mean, if someone was giving me Minon Car Ponies, I wouldn't turn them away. <laughs> but um, the focus of my collection is definitely ponies that could be played with. Look how it sounds. It's horrible. See that? The, the fresh toy the is thing. gone. You can touch it now. That box looks cool. The graphic looks cool. But then again, you're not touching it. Touch it. Come on, do it, do it. <laughs> Sometimes after playing with it, you lose a little bit of that magic because you know it's it's not there anymore. You play with it, you did you you done good with it, you're done with it. Just like how all the kids were before. A kid was playing with that toy. A kid gave that toy made that kid happy. This is my favorite it's, figure. That's why I left it in entire car. In the favorite. whole damn line, this is number one. It's disgusting. If I had to take a choice, I want loose because it's cheaper and I can get more space out of the shelf. But over time, as a collector, things change, your perspective change. Going back, it's about the artwork, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's just, if you notice, most of the cards that I own all have different artwork. There's a few lines that all the artwork is bland and it's generic, but for the most part, they all have a scene on them. Bringing it to your arms again and into how it was when you first got it, that, that feeling that you get back from it on a mint on card or mint on box transformer. And you see that artwork. It's just, it's beautiful. Why would you keep it in a package if you can you take it out and play with it and touch it and just have fun with it, you know? I'm more like a loose guy. I'm sorry. I like mental card. But at the same time, I recommend loose. I like them both. If I were a collector, then I probably might keep it in the package. Here's the catch. I used to always try and tell collectors they needed to buy three things. You want to buy something? Yeah, you buy mint on card. You have a mint on card. One to keep mint on card. Then you buy another one, then you buy another one. One to open up and play with. It gets better. You buy another one, then you buy another one. And one to trade, to keep and trade with. But I get two of them. I have one to play with and one in the package. That was one of the lessons I was always trying to convey to, uh, to kids. Eventually, you open it. Once you open it, you have a few of them loose, then you have a few of them mint in the box. Simple as that. Lost in Space? Yep, that's the Lost in Space Rotojet gun. Wow. Uh, that actually is mint sealed, never opened. And uh, we actually had that graded and encased. So let me walk you through the process of grading. What ends up happening is you go on a website, you fill out a, a form, you ship it to the grading company. In between 30 and 60 days, you'll get it back. But as it's there, what they're doing is they're taking it, they're looking at it, they're critiquing it, they're making sure everything is correct with it, no reproductions, they are encasing it for you. Then they're gonna give you a, a, a barcode and a label inside telling you exactly what it is, what year, what line. Then they're gonna package it up, put it in a box, send it back to you. And one thing I do like about grading, and this is the end part of it, it's like getting the item again for the first time. <laughs> We got a very rare chance here. We're gonna open a sealed case. Wow. Item. Yeah. We're only going by this little number on the box. We looked up the assortment number. It's stating it's a 1982 Indiana Jones Kenner uh, case of 48. In 10 years of grading, I've never seen an unmarked box, uh, let alone 35 years old. What's the story with this? Uh, where'd it come from? Well, the customer that sent this in, it's a, a very interesting story. Uh, he said he uh, met up with a Franciscan monk in New Mexico. Wow. Yeah, and he had a contact uh, in Cincinnati. Uh, back in 1982, he got a lot of uh, Kenner products shipped to them and never been touched, never been opened. I don't, I don't know what they got them for. Definitely a mystery of uh, what's inside. Let's get busy. Excellent. Let's do it this way cleanly cut this. This is some brittle tape, which it should be after 35 years. 
Let's not go too deep. We'll arch it up to make sure that everything inside is in perfect condition. This is the moment of truth. Let's see what's in it. Let's see what characters are in here and how many of each. So let's take a look at that. Wow. Wow. Whew. 